In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can fix your iPhone that is not connecting to a Wi-Fi network. So let's just dive straight into the video, guys. Now, I'll just make a really quick note before I start, and that is that if you're looking to connect to a, a public Wi-Fi network, whether that's at a shopping center, an airport, or a McDonald's, or anything along those lines, in some cases, those Wi-Fi networks actually might not be working. Um, so you might kind of be you might be pulling your hair out. But in actual fact, the Wi-Fi network you're looking to connect to actually is not working. And this happens to me all the time. And that's just because a lot of these places don't maintain their Wi-Fi networks. Now, another quick thing that I'll note is that say you've just connected um, to the Wi-Fi network. Um, so you've connected to it. Um, another thing you actually have to do is then go and open up Safari and then it will ask you to log into that Wi-Fi network. So I thought I'd just quickly get that out of the way um, if you are looking to connect to a public Wi-Fi network. Now, if you're at home and your Wi-Fi connection is not working with your iPhone, uh, what I actually recommend you to do first is to force restart your iPhone device. Now, this is just like force restarting a computer or a TV. Um, in 90% of cases, it removes kind of any temporary issues or glitches. Now, to restart your iPhone, all you have to do is quickly press the volume up, down, and then press and hold onto the power button. So I'm just going to go and do that now. So quickly press volume up, down, and then press and hold onto the um, uh, power button. And I'm going to keep um, holding onto this until I see the Apple logo. So initially the screen will go black, and then after around another five to 10 seconds, um, I'll see an Apple logo here. So once I see that, I can let go. And just a quick note, um, if you do decide to do this step, you will not lose any information, apps, contacts, photos. All of that stuff will still be um, as it was. Um, this is just a quick uh, kind of force restart um, that will hopefully remove any temporary issues or glitches. So now that I've got my iPhone restarted, hopefully I can then go and reconnect back to that Wi-Fi network um, and hopefully get that connection working again. Um, so the next kind of step that I recommend you to try um, is to actually go and connect to a different Wi-Fi network. Now, if you've got a friend or family member in your household, what you can actually ask them to do is to turn on their personal hotspot. Um, so I don't have a SIM card in this uh, iPhone, unfortunately, um, but if I did, there'll be a section here for personal hotspot in the settings. So I can go tap into personal hotspot and then turn that on um, for someone else's phone and then I can connect to that personal hotspot. Now, if that is working, um, if I can get uh, internet access from their personal hotspot, then that kind of tells me that there's most likely an issue um, with my Wi-Fi router. Now, if that is the case, the next thing that I recommend you to do is to actually go and turn your Wi-Fi router on and off um, and hopefully that will go and resolve the issue. Typically, you have to wait around five minutes for the internet connection to re-establish on your Wi-Fi router. Um, so if that still isn't working once you've turned it on and off, the next thing you can do is to actually go and reset your Wi-Fi router. So typically, there's a little circle um, in the back of it, and you can use a pen to kind of force um, reset the router, and then you can go and connect your iPhone to the router again. Now, just keep in um, mind that um, you will have to kind of um, you know, keep a track of all your passwords as you will have to log back into that Wi-Fi connection. So the next thing that I recommend you to do is then go into your settings. Um, so if none of these things have worked, you can then go into your settings, go to Wi-Fi. Now on this Wi-Fi network here, I'm just going to tap on this I, and then I'm going to go forget this network. Um, so that means that this Wi-Fi network will be completely forgotten. Um, so I can go tap on that. And then once that's been forgotten, I can then go and reconnect to that same Wi-Fi network. Now, if, now, once you're in here, you just want to go down to reset. And then you just want to go reset network settings. So by clicking on this one, um, this will reset kind of all of the, your um, kind of cellular and Wi-Fi settings that you might have enabled. So you can just go and tap on that one and then you can go and try and reconnect to your uh, Wi-Fi network. So if that's still not connect, if that's still not working guys, um, the next thing you can do is actually go back into your settings and then I wanna kind of come back to the home area, then go down to general and then go to software update 
Now in here you'll see all of the recent um, iOS software updates for your iPhone. So if there is a new version available, I do recommend you to update as in some cases, um, the iOS version might have like a temporary bug or an issue that might be causing a Wi-Fi um, kind of connection issue. So if there is a new one, you can then just go and update and that will take around maybe five to half an hour to update the iPhone depending on your internet connection. So that's pretty much all there is to it guys. Hopefully one of those fixes was able to get the Wi-Fi connection working on your iPhone again. And these steps will also work for all uh, iPhone devices as well. So if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.